This is Hydrogen Tap 1, Series 2. What we're looking at here is the new unit that supports six 12-inch plates, stainless steel. You can see the two electrodes, positive and negative, in the top where the gas comes out. To test for the amount of gas, we're putting it into a water pitcher. There is no electrolyte in this system, straight tap water. You can see now the amp meter we're going to use. There's the voltmeter that's hooked to the battery behind it, and we're going to use a 12 a charging circuit, which I'll show you in a minute. Those are the two electrodes. The one, the red positive, the one to the right black is going to the negative terminal of the 12 volt battery. That center tube that's clear is an import and what you see there is the drain. The import is so we can put more water or tap water into it. We've just connected the 12 volt battery with the charger on it. You can see we're doing very well considering there's no electrolyte. With the six plates, we're now able to produce almost 15 amps of current. You can you see the amount of gas that is being put out. Right now we've got 12.45 volts. That's even with the charger on. It's going to change because of the amount of power required for the unit. The charger is not built to support this kind of power drain. You can see the good shot of the system. And we're going to watch this to make sure that it stays steady, in which it is. There's no electrolyte. The 12 inch plates seem to stabilize very easy. This is tap water that you're using here. It has not been filtered. It's a shot of the charging unit, which only puts out 10 amps at 12 volts. See it switched to deep cycle. which it's not putting out as much as your car alternator would put out. So far the unit is exceeding expectations here. Without electrolyte, almost 15 amps. Most probably we'd be putting out 15 amps if this was hooked to the car alternator. Shot of the top of the unit. We're now going to inspect 
the unit after. What you can see there is the water that was in it. For some reason, we're not getting the muck that was produced before. I've tried this twice. The 12 inch plates are working very well. You can see the temperature here. Most probably with a temperature over 100 degrees, we are going to be seeing about 25 amps or 20 amps. I don't know which. The water is considerably clear considering there's no electrolytes and we're using tap water. Now we'll take a look at the inside. You can see the plates. There's six of them. Again, they're 12 inches long. Electrodes on alternate plates, positive, alternate plates, negative. And you can see a good shot of the spacers there. That is a divider that you're looking at there in the center, which is actually, get a better shot at it here. It's keeping the plates in the center of the unit. That's all it's for. When we fill the unit, we fill it just over that.